Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy, Reno, coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five shocking signs that you attractive. Yes, sir. Let me say that louder for the ladies and gentlemen in the back. This video is based upon all the signs of how you know you are attractive. Yes, sir. And I want y'all to understand something. Now, we're going to get a little spicy and saucy on this video, y'all, because I need you to realize that you are attractive. It's probably somebody in your life who are telling you that you that, but you don't believe it. Yes, sir. Or it's probably somebody who's saying that you're not attractive and you don't believe it. Yes, sir. I want you to understand something. If you're watching this video, you are attractive. And so to affirm that, manifest that, and to confirm that over your life, make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm attractive. Yes, sir. Male or female, y'all. All right, pause, no homo, all that. I want you to realize something, male or female, that you are attractive, okay? So if any one of these signs resonate with you, make sure you drop in the comments at any time and say, I am attractive. Not only that, but be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel, all right? So we're going to get directly into this amazing video. So check this out, y'all. The first sign that you are attractive it's going to be this, y'all. Constant eye contact. Yes, sir. Understand that, y'all. They gravitate towards you. All right? So it's going to be constant eye contact. People gravitate towards you. We know what you mean by that. You ever just been walking inside of a grocery store? Okay? I, you know, and this probably go more so for my ladies, but even for some of my fellas, right? But for some of my ladies, okay? I know that y'all probably be in the grocery store. Y'all trying to get y'all some, you know, get y'all some fruit. You know, y'all trying to get y'all some pineapple, some watermelon. Y'all know how y'all be doing. Y'all want y'all some fruit, right? And so you probably got the kids in the car with the, you know, with your man, or you probably don't even have no kids at this particular time. But you walk around the grocery store and you just ever notice a man and he's trying to make eye contact with you. I mean, you can feel him when he's looking at you, right? Like y'all, y'all ever had somebody looking at y'all and you can feel it when they looking at you and you turn your head and you can tell they were just looking at you because they done turn their head so fast. So some people very bold, right? I'm talking about they bold, okay? Like straight, like capital letters, straight bold. Yes, sir. And then they looking at you like this. They just straight staring, staring, right? Understand this. That is a clear sign and indication that you are attractive. For my fellas, listen, y'all probably in the gym. I'm talking about you pumping that iron. You pumping that iron, bro. You walk around the gym, you know what I'm saying? You got your shirt off or you got your tank top, your muscle shirt on. Understand this. You may see Keisha over there, right? You may see Rashonda over there. She looking at you and she trying to make that eye contact. And you ain't even known that, right? You came for business and strictly business, okay? You came for your fitness, bro. But guess what? She trying to, she trying to make that eye contact with you, right? She's gravitating towards you. She's trying to show like, look, I see you and I hope that you see me because you attractive. Yes, sir. If that first sign resonate with y'all, understand this. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I am attractive. If that sign resonate with you, that is a clear indication that you are attractive. And clearly the opposite sex believes so. Okay? So understand and realize that, right? Don't listen to nobody who's saying, oh, you ain't attractive or you ugly. No, nah, listen, I ain't saying this to boost your head up. I'm telling you exactly what you need to hear, and not only that, but I'm telling you the real. And if that first sign resonated with you, that's a clear indication that you are attractive. Number two, the second sign is going to be this, y'all. They find their way in your presence. Yes, sir. Understand this, y'all. They find their way in your presence. See, they just want to be noticed by you. They just want you to see them. Right? So, Rena, what's the difference between making eye contact and finding their way in your presence? See, realize this. The person who's just staring at you, they haven't found the guts, right, or the courage or the confidence to walk up and approach you. Now, this going to be a little different for my fellas. I don't expect for a woman to approach a man, all right? Let me explain. For a man, we do the hunting, all right? We go out here and we approach the women that we like or we find attractive. That's what men do, right? We go out here and we hunt. So I'm not expecting for no woman to approach a man, all right? I hope I cleared it up for some women. Now, for my uh, ladies, 
if a man is looking at you, guess what? That means that he haven't found the courage, he's not brave enough or not interested enough, okay, to approach you, right? But if a person just sitting there staring at you, ladies or fellas, guess what? That's a clear indication that you are attractive. Getting back to it, they find their way in your presence. And so to differentiate the two, if they find their way in your presence, that means that they found the courage to approach you. They found the the uh the bravery to say, you know, hey, how you doing? Or you 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 live around here or you you around here a lot or whatever. I mean, whatever icebreaker that they can utilize, okay, so they can get your attention. They find their way in your presence. I'm gonna tell y'all this, y'all. I don't believe I don't believe that nobody is ugly within their spirit, right? I don't believe that nobody is ugly within their spirit. You know what? I take that back. Cause it's some beautiful people out here, right? On the outside. But you got some people with some ugly spirits, so I apologize about that, y'all. I take that back. But what I'm simply saying is everybody is beautiful in their own way, okay? Whether that is a personality trait, whether that is, you know, the way they act, you know, um, the actions. I mean, what whatever that is, but beauty is not always on the outside. Y'all ever heard a song called Beauty on the Skin Deep? Beauty on the Skin Deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout, shout out to the temptations, y'all. But listen, that's what I'm saying. Uh, everybody who is beautiful is not always beautiful on the outside, but they are beautiful, okay, within the inside. Understand this. Either way it go, you are attractive. They try to find their way into your presence. They found, and I don't care what it is, right? And you know, women are a little more slick with it, okay? So she may come around the corner and drop something. Yes, sir. She may come around the corner and, you know, uh, do you know what time we got to leave? Or do you know what time they close? Just something to try to get inside your presence so you can open up that conversation with it, right? Same thing for with a guy. The guy may, you know, most times a guy's going to put himself in a position to approach a woman that he finds attractive. What I'm simply saying is, y'all, they're going to find a way to be in your presence because they want to be noticed by you, all right? Simple as that, y'all. And let me elaborate without making this so long. Y'all remember when y'all was in school? Yes, sir. You was in school and it was the pretty girl that you always liked or the pretty girl that you was like, man, I, I, I just, I do whatever. I do whatever. Right. And so when you finally get that opportunity to put yourself in position for her to notice you, I mean, bro, you're going to try to do whatever you can. I don't care if you playing football, you're going to try to show out in front of the boys. I don't care if you're going to try to buy her ice cream. You're going to try to do anything to put yourself in her presence. And so that's the same thing how you got to look at it in this case. A person who finds you attractive, they're going to try to find their way inside your presence so they can be noticed by you. Okay? Understand that, y'all. The third sign is going to be this, y'all. They make conversation with you for no reason. Yes, sir. Understand this, y'all. They make conversation with you for no reason, right? You mind your business. You ain't bothering nobody, right? You just doing what you naturally do, okay? Whether you're in the gym, you're just working out. Yes, sir, right? You at school, you're just doing your work, right? Uh, Wherever you are, you on the grocery store, you're just trying to get your food, but people just trying to find a way to make conversation with you. Right. So let's just say you out and about and you at an event. Right. And don't get me wrong, y'all. At events, that's what it's supposed to be, especially a networking event. OK. But see, sometimes people make it obvious and they notice and they want you to know. Right. Understand this, y'all. For those who try to make conversation with you for no reason that you can tell when a person don't have no reason either. You can kind of tell, right? Unless they just super smooth with it, but they just come out with a uh, they just come out with a conversation just out the blue, just you know, just anything simple, anything simple as do you come around here often, right? What kind of car do you have? I mean, I hope they ain't asking that, but I'm just saying, y'all, they make conversation just randomly. They just want to get, they want to talk to you. They want to get to know you, right? And if this happened to you, this is a clear indication and a clear sign that you are attractive, right? Don't take this for granted, y'all. Realize who you are. Realize the way you look. Realize that you are actually attractive to people, right? You eye candy. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I am attractive. All right, make sure you drop in the comments and say, I am attractive, right? I make this video specifically, y'all, 
so you can understand exactly who you are. Some people, right, male or female, they are attractive and they simply do not know that, right? They probably been through some type of trauma. They probably been through a situation where, you know, their mom, their dad, aunties, uncles, cousins, siblings told them that they were never, you know, amount to nothing. They not beautiful. They not handsome. You ugly, right? You got some people that's really out here like that, y'all. You really got some people that really demean or diminish their family members, their friends, because it makes them feel better because they really the ones who don't look like nothing. Yes, sir. But I want you to realize and understand something, right? The value that you bring to the table with your looks and the value that you bring to the table with inside. Either way it go, it's attractive. Okay. Understand this personality is just as important as looks, right? Personality is just as important as looks. Okay. I want to make two points on this. The reason why I say personality is just as important as looks is because for a person who is beautiful, right, and they got a nasty attitude, I guarantee you another individual will rather take the person who is okay with looks but got an amazing personality, right? That makes them attractive. That makes them a lot more attractive, okay? We see this a lot, y'all, with these strippers, you know, with these... uh the playboys, right? It go both ways. I'm talking about people who are, you will look and say, dang, he got all the money in the world, but he don't treat a woman right. Yes, sir. Or for a woman, man, she the beautiful thing, the most beautiful thing you ever seen in life. But guess what? She got a nasty attitude. So what you're saying, Reno, what I'm saying is personality contribute to you being attractive. All right? Now, let me say this, y'all. I'm about to drop a big gem on this one. Men fall in love with what they see. Yes, sir and a woman fall in love from what she hears. Meaning, men fall in love for what a woman look like, right? Uh, that's why that's why men say she was the apple of my eye, right? And it's kind of crazy because Adam bit the Adam bit the apple, but we ain't gonna get on that, y'all. I ain't no conspiracy theorist, but realize what I'm saying. That's why men fall in love with what they see. Women fall in love with what? What she hear, okay? In order for her to fall in love with what she hear, it has to be some type of personality trait that this guy has. Reno, what you saying? Why you bringing this up? The reason why I say this, y'all, is because personality, right, and looks, they go hand in hand, right? Don't nobody just want somebody who look like the cookie monster, okay? Unless they look like the cookie monster themselves. Yes, sir. But understand what I'm saying, y'all. Seriously, you have to understand that your personality and your looks go hand in hand and they contribute to you being attractive. And if you watch this video, chances are you have both. So I want you to realize and understand something. You are attractive. Yes, sir. But I ain't mean to go into a long rant about that, y'all, but I had that on my heart and I had it on my spirit. So I wanted to kind of let that off so y'all can realize that, you know, it's much more than being attractive than just having a pretty and beautiful face or a handsome face, right? Like I know this girl, right? Who I used to date at one point in time. Beautiful girl, okay? Beautiful girl. But the thing I didn't like about her was that selfish. Yes, sir. Not only selfish, but you know, just only just only care about self, uh, greedy, um, don't understand how to be considerate of others, right? Just all about me, 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 me. Okay? And so what happens is uh people think that they can accommodate in other areas for the way that they look. This is why you see these NBA players, NFL players, rappers that get with these women, but they take everything that they have because all you saw was the beautiful face, right? Yes, sir, you got to understand something. Why you think Snoop Dogg still with his wife? Why you think Denzel Washington still with his wife? All right, you got to understand this, y'all. Just because a person is handsome, all right, for my ladies, and just because a person is beautiful for my fellas, understand this, it doesn't make them all around attractive. You want to have personality and looks. All right, y'all, that's it. I ain't going to go too more deep in that, all right? So, the next sign is going to be this, y'all. Number four, you have a confident attitude, all right? Let me say that one louder for the people in the back. You have a confident attitude. Yes, sir. When you walk in the room, you walk in with confidence. Why? Because you know exactly who you are. Yes, sir. You know exactly who you are and whose you are, right? I speak about that a lot, but I, I see people don't have the confidence that they need to have. And I'm not speaking for everybody, but some people don't understand what it means to have that supreme confidence. 
And see, and to be attractive, right, you got to have some type of confidence. Because understand this, y'all. If you don't believe you're attractive, and if you don't move in a confident way, well, how can I believe that you are attractive? And how can I believe that you are confident, right? And this goes on both hands, okay? Now, I understand you do have unicorns. Yes, sir. You do have people who say, you know what? I see that she timid, or I see that he timid, but I see something in him or her that they don't see. Don't get me wrong. That happens, right? A person, you see the movies. I know y'all see the movies. And, you know, he took he took the uh, chick who didn't, who wasn't as confident and was timid. And he, you know, fixed up, gave her a whole makeover, and they fell in love. And it was, they went happily ever after. Okay, I get that. I, I understand it. But that's on the movies. And that can happen in real life, but very rarely. But see, what makes people attractive in real life is knowing exactly who they are. Yes, sir. What makes a person attractive in real life is having that confidence. You got to have a confident attitude. I'm not talking about being an asshole, right? I'm not, excuse my French, y'all, but I had to say that. I'm not talking about, you know, being arrogant. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about having that confidence like I'm supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm supposed to be here. Okay? See, when you are attractive and you know that you are attractive, you understand that you are supposed to be here. Whatever room you walk in, you supposed to be there, right? Whoever you are with, whether you with the top of the line or bottom of the barrel, you are supposed to be there because you have that confidence. So understand, as an attractive male or female, you do have that supreme confidence, all right? Yes, sir. If Listen, if that sign spoke to you, make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm confident. Yes, sir. If that sign spoke to you and resonated, make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm confident, all right? And so we're going to get to the last one, y'all. Number five. Number five is going to be this, y'all. You make people nervous. Yes, sir. And it shows within their behavior. All right. When you are attractive, you make people nervous and it's going to show in their behavior. OK, now maybe this don't connect, but hopefully it does. And I hope y'all can understand this. Right. When I was about seven years old, no, I think nine or ten in between seven and ten. Right. Um, My grandma stayed in Fitzgerald, Georgia. Right. So for those who don't know, Douglas and Fitzgerald is like 45 minutes away, 30, 45 minutes away. So my grandma stayed in Fitzgerald, Georgia. It was his girl named Shakana. I can't I can't remember her last name, but her name was Shakana. And it was my auntie's friend at the time. Right. And so as a kid. Right. I wanted to get her. I got, actually got her a ring and I had got her, uh, I think, some flowers or something like that. Right. For y'all who don't know, man, Pisces are just naturally romancers, okay? We just naturally romancers. We are naturally, you know, people who are uh, affectionate, okay? And so, at a young age, right, I got her some flowers. Look, listen to what I'm saying, y'all. I had got her some flowers. I had got her a ring. I thought I was doing the thing, too. Yes, sir, I thought I was doing the thing. I'm talking about she just looking at me, and she was like, oh, my God, you got me a ring. Thank you so much. I'm talking about she just blowing up my little... Nine, ten year old head, right? But I understood at the young age that ah, she probably don't, she probably can't build me because I'm too young. But she, she was just so attracted to me at this age. What you saying, Reno? What I'm saying is this right here. When I came around her, she would make me nervous, right? And to me, at that particular time, she was attractive. Yes, sir. I'm talking about she had the braces. You see what I'm saying, y'all? I mean, it just was. It, it was something that I liked it at that particular time. And I was so young, right? So young. But what I'm saying is, is this right here, y'all. An attractive person will make you nervous whenever they come around, right? In this case, you are the attractive person, okay? And people are nervous and you can tell it in their behavior whenever they come around you. Signs of nervousness, y'all, is people sweating. Yes, sir. They, they kind of talk fast. They may stutter a little bit. Uh, palms sweaty. Okay, I'm um, not sure of themselves. You make people nervous. Y'all think about for okay for all my ladies, right? Y'all think about if Wesley Snipes. I'm talking. I'm a talking. I'm a talking uh, uh, generations too, because I know I speak to uh, an older crowd, but I also speak to you know mid age crowd too. So for my ladies who are in the older crowd, imagine if Wesley Snipes walked up to you and approached you. Think about how you would react. Think about how you would react. All right. Now, for my other ladies, let's think about, let's just say Chris Brown approached you. 
Yes, sir. Just think about it. If Chris Brown approached you, how, you know, and if that's not your type, right? Let's just say Usher. But what I'm simply saying is, outside of their celebrity, uh, a person who you would deem as attractive, sometimes they can make you a little nervous, right? Now, as you get used to them, or if you're walking in that confidence, you may get a little nervous, but you're going to understand how to hold and maintain your composure, right? What I'm simply saying is, that's how people view you. When you are attractive, you're going to make people nervous, and you're going to be able to tell it within their behavior, all right? Understand that, y'all. Yes, sir. All right, so with that being said, y'all, I can't close this video out no better. These are five shocking signs that you are attractive. Make sure you drop in the video, okay? Drop in the comments and say, I am attractive. Yes, sir. If any one of those signs resonated with you, and if you notice the signs and notice that you have all these things, make sure you drop that in the comments, all right? So look, y'all, as I conclude this video, I ask that y'all check any one of the links out in my description, check out any one of my books. That's eight steps to self publishing a successful book, failure unequal, rich mentality, as well as traumatized by love. All right, also be sure to join any one of my memberships that's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.